with each other. I think, you know, like, you know, even me and the girls were saying before that, you know, we don't feel like we're close. Like, I feel I'm not close to Michelle and Kate. And, like, it's good to realise things and learn to find ways to improve that. You know what I mean? What about you? You're not talking to me? What? I want to talk to you about it, but I just don't think that you want to talk to me, that's all. I feel like I've tried to help you as much as I can, even though we had a spit and you have argued with someone that I value very highly in the house, I've still given you a chance and I've tried to help you and explain to you what it's like in here, how to get on and, and what would be, you know, but I'm still the best way to get on to people. Then stay out of other people's business. Okay, and I just said that I, I realised that I can't get involved with things anymore. Yeah, well, and good. Especially not with people that you don't even know. You don't even know us. Like... Okay, but can you accept my apology and stop being defensive about it because I'm, I'm, I'm apologising here and I've admitted that I was wrong. I shouldn't have got involved and it's got nothing to do with me. I okay? accept your apology. Next, Kate and Christy come clean. I just do feel uncomfortable at times, like when you say things in big groups of people and I think that you might think it's funny, but I don't. To a big Dean, dial 1902 555561 or SMS Dean to 191010. guys to just us getting closer that sort of stuff yeah earlier Christy told Geneva she doesn't feel close to Kate this afternoon Kate and Christy talk about their friendship I'm just finding it a bit hard to get to know you more open up to me yeah, yeah. because I feel I'm not getting it back right I feel like I'll never be as close as you and Michelle yep but I still kind of want to give it a go and I feel like that we're so different mm. yeah I've never come across anyone like you in my life <laughs> yeah, it's weird because we are completely different. We are totally different. Mm. Totally. Which is not a bad thing. No, because I just look at you as being so carefree and so um, out there, and just at times I probably felt. Let me just put my bags on. I probably felt that you have this ability to make me feel really uncomfortable. Really? As in, just like when when I'm sleeping on Michael, when I woke up and you're like, oh, is this a little love thing happening? It made me feel awkward. And I know it was a joke. Really sorry if that's how, but I... But I know that's not the way. I just do feel uncomfortable at times, like when you say things in big groups of people and I think that you might think it's funny, but I don't. OK, well, I can work on that. <laughs> and I can work on stop being such an uptight bitch around you. Sorry, Tim, I'm just moving in, mate. You're welcome to it, mate. <laughs> <laughs> oh, She's um. <laughs> oh, you don't want to know. It's crazy. It's just not normal. If everybody in here hates me, then I don't give a damn. They can just go and eat spam. <laughs> spam ham. Dun -dun 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 -dun. When I was this younger, his big brother. Started, there was a lamb. The result? <laughs> this week's task is in. <laughs> you have wagered 100% of next week's shopping Wait, budget. What? A loss <laughs> will leave you at nothing. <clears throat> the task required housemates to cook meals for big brother. Housemates were also required to dress and most importantly wash your hands before cooking. Did that every time. This didn't always happen. Oh. 
To make matters worse, <laughs> one housemate picked their nose while nice. making Big Brother his spaghetti bolognese. <laughs> no, you don't call me in Greek. What do you mean? What do you think it was me? You have failed this week's task. Oh. That is all. I don't think it was me. I think prepared spaghetti bowl once. Who did you think you did? You've done it too? twice. <laughs> I think it was saucy because you just do it Dave, subconsciously. Dave, he's constantly twice. picked his nose. It's got to have been you. Yeah. Doesn't phase me too much. I'm pretty happy at the moment. <laughs> don't phase me either. So no toilet paper and no dishwashing detergent. Dishwashing detergent, toilet paper. Now we we've got to be really careful with toothpaste. Yeah, and we will have enough herbs and stuff to... Herbs is all we'll have. Coffee Mate, will be gone. Right. The coffee so will be gone So back to getting cranky for no coffee. Because mm. the one thing that is normal life for me. Do you know what I mean? Like, oh, I love this coffee. Love it. After the break, Rachel takes the blame. Every action you make, you've got to expect your reaction. So on my part, I can um, admit that I deserve everything I get. To evict hot dogs, dial 1902 555562 or SMS hot dogs to 191010. David is a plumber by trade and has come to talk to Big Brother about some house maintenance. Logan, David. Big Brother. Um, the toilet to the right hand side as you enter the room, it's playing up. Do you think you can fix it? Oh, I can get it uh, flowing better just by unblocking it. Big Brother will get back to you. Alright, that's all. Anything else? No, yeah, but if I do fix it, um, some toilet paper or toothpaste, a stick of toothpaste or something. What'd you think of it? Think about it. What is your normal fee? What's my normal fee? My normal fee would be you can say a, a call out fee or a, a friend a friend job. You know, uh, me and you friends and you ring me up and I come around as a mate or is it actual a call out fee? Which one would apply for Big Brother? Oh, it'd be a call out fee. Big Brother will fix the toilet himself. No. <laughs> I'll do it for two tubes of toothpaste. Big Brother will get back to you. Thanks, Big Brother. That's that all. is all. Right. Each week, the housemates have a dinner where they discuss topics of concern to them. High on tonight's agenda are the replacement housemates. It's uh, been one week since a new housemates entered the house. Does everyone think they've been included and treated fairly? OK, well, we'll start with Michelle. If you put yourself out there, we're all willing to um, put our hand out to you as well. It's, it, it's give and take sort of thing, do you know what I mean? Like, um, we, I feel that we have tried to invite you in, but you've got to want to come in as well. Yeah, I think we've been treated fair. What you dish out, you've got to expect um, every action you make, you've got to expect a reaction. So on my part, I can um, admit that I deserve everything I get if I've been... Um, I don't know if I've been causing any conflict. I certainly deserve um, retaliation from the group. I think the old housemates have been making an effort to include, but yeah, we could we could probably try a bit harder. I think. But, yeah. I don't sort of like to jump into things right from the beginning. I like to feel comfortable 100% before I get into everyone. Um, and if I'm here long enough, you'll see that. Um, I think there's been a few unfortunate incidents, and I think. Um, you know, we're all judged not only by what, what we do, but also how we react to what other people do. And I think it's really important that we um, make a big effort to include uh, people. I'm sure that'll happen more as after as a result of this topic. And, and um, I'm optimistic. I think I've treated the new housemates how I treat anyone on the outside. Um, if I don't want to talk to someone, I'm not going to invite them to hang around with me because I don't want their conversation. Um, I believe that people have been included. I believe that also people have ostracised themselves, or is that the word, or yep. whatever, ostracised themselves from saying things that have gotten under people's skin. And with every action, there's a reaction. So, are you speaking specifically about any 
think in particular, or can you give us an example? You and I, we'll pass each other and, and hello, hello.